guys? This is Doc M, and it is summertime. Summertime. Yeah, it's freaking epic. Look at that. Behind me, okay, there's a construction site. Kids are playing. That's a little park that is pretty close to where I live. And right there, back there, I'm gonna grab me an ice cream now, and yeah, getting ready to do some deer dog. Thinking about what I wanna do. The beard is back a bit, and so is the dog. So let's jump right in, get us an ice cream. Yeah guys, so it's a nice Italian ice place here around the corner, all homemade fresh ice, oh yeah. Mm, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Here we go. If you ever come to Karlsruhe, you have to come here and pick up an ice. Best ice in the city. <laughs> yeah. Nom, 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 nom. I guess I'm gonna get a banana split. Yeah, my banana split is getting ready. And the spaghetti ice. <laughs> There's some eggnog in there. Uh, and the banana bit. split. Yeah. Banana split. Thank you. I always eat banana split. I just love that. I'm kind of like, I don't know. It's very hard for me to try something else. <laughs> yeah. So, prego. Grazie lei. <laughs> You know guys, you know when that it's good ice cream if the guy doesn't give a crap about if it's served in plastic or whatever, it's just about the ice. He doesn't have no service, you have to pick your eyes up yourself. Oh, it's so delicious. You want it too? Oh yeah. Nom, 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 nom. There's liquor in there. Mmm. Yep. Eggnog. Something. Oh, that's brilliant. Mmm. I just love ice cream. Mmm. So yeah guys, what's happened this week? Lots of stuff got, went on. Since the last deer dog. <laughs> All kinds of crazy stuff. And I want to keep it short because girlfriend is holding the camera and her eyes is sitting there. And I'm sitting here, um, yum, 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 yum. Um. <laughs> but one thing that happened was a dinner bone incident. Oh my god. <laughs> See a name tag right away. It's dinner bone. Oh, uh oh, it's dinner bone. It's dinner bone. I killed him. Yes, I did it. Seriously. And it is a game. This is what UHC is all about. PvP. Grace period was broken. There was no real grace period. There was a lot of drama. People were saying, hey, blah, 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 he was a guest. I think I showed him respect by attacking him right away. You know, doesn't need special treatment or something. He's just one of us. Minecraft player. Okay, he makes the game. <laughs> but other than that, he's just like us, right? So yeah, cool thing is, you know, I knew people were gonna, uh, gonna get mad about it and stuff and be raging a bit and Dinnerborn also saw that and he got in touch. And then we arranged, hey, come on, let's recreate the scene and let's do um, what people said I should have done. Just walk away. And yeah, we did a little parody of that, so, yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, shit. 
Oh, there's somebody. See a name tag right away. It's still a bone. Uh oh, it's still a bone. Oh, shit. Did you see me? No. Oh, he's such a nice guy. Yeah, have a nice day, man. So, yeah. <laughs> It was great guys. That just shows what an amazing company Mojang is. I mean, you know, where do you where do you see that? That the developers actually get in touch. Wow, I'm staring into the sun. There's all everywhere sun. <laughs> yeah, where do you see that, you know, the developers of the game actually get in touch with the community like that? It's freaking amazing. And it's always great to be part of that. And yeah, sometimes guys just relax a bit. You know the hype is alright, but hey, it's UHC. And in UHC, people get killed. That's the part of the game. And I'm gonna kill again. <laughs> Some guys are playing basketball. Can't resist. Look at my shoes, man. I'm not prepared. Yeah, yeah. The ball for life. When you see a basketball court, I can't walk by. I have to take a few shots. But it was okay. I mean, zero athleticism anymore. But I still got the shooting touch a little bit. Shot shot looked okay. Yeah, we also did Yugo Craft. Another mod. As um, yeah, I started to play Feed the Beast. I'm more open to the mods and stuff. More interested in that things. And Yugo Craft is a Japanese mod that is pretty badass. Honestly, and yeah, me and the Zipcrowd crew, we did a little trailer video, you know, to show off what the mod can do. It was really cool, so check it out. Little clip, if you're interested in the full thing, highly suggest to check it out. Some, some crazy stuff you've never seen in Minecraft, for sure. Hey, and pirates! I might be! We also went to a climbing park, which was really, really cool. You know, out in the woods, high trees to climb on and all. They had a GoPro there, I was able to record some footage, but yeah, it didn't turn out too well. But yeah, let's check it out, better than nothing. And yeah, after that I'd say we should jump into the Q&A. So, here it is. I haven't eaten yet. So we got a donut. You want one too? Mm -hmm. Alright. Check it out. Uh, Abenteuer Park Kandel. Things to climb on. We'll see, I hope I fall off. Uh, don't fall off a tree. <laughs> don't. Okay. Good. Oh, all right, guys. Uh, we're done with the first three or two things we did. We went from from eight to eleven, and eleven was okay. The last bit, there was this crazy thing with the skis that was pretty scary because you could now, yeah, you couldn't hold on anywhere. But it was cool. By the way, they have some pretty. Cool drinks out here, bio cola. 
What? Mit Steviolglycosiden. What Stevia. are? Stevia. Okay, whatever. Um, but here, they have these GoPros here. You can rent them for 10 bucks, which is really cheap. And if you have your um, SD card with you, you can actually use it to capture here. And I yeah, never tried it. Hopefully, the footage will turn out well. I think this thing has a fish eye lens. Seems to be a bit of dirt on there. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, my allergies are kicking in. And the mosquitoes are eating us up. And we're waiting for a little load of french fries. Oh, it's pizza actually. So yeah, next up we're gonna tackle the track 14, which is the hardest of the four regular people tracks, kind of. After that there's Iron Man and whatnot, and there's a super long slide, but we need different gear. We have this stuff here to hook yourself up. Ouch! Oh, jeez. And yeah, for the slide we need different gear. We want to do that in the end. So one more course to go after we had a little break and then the power slide. Oh yeah!
Well guys, and now I'd say it is time to jump to the Q&A. Yeah, I need to hurry. Alright guys, so I'm recording with my Blue Yeti, I hope it works out well, I rarely use it. Maybe I should do use it more in the future, it's actually pretty cool not to have to yeah, have your headset on all the time. So hopefully the sound is alright, tell me if you like it, but it should be cool. So yeah, let's jump into the Q&A. Um, I can't do too many questions, you saw the vlog part and the news part was a bit longer this time, but hey, let's do it. When did you get your beard? Jack wants to know. Well, actually this beard I grew when I was 14, the soul patch. And ever since that I have that beard and always said, hey, whenever I cut it off I'm going conservative. So yeah, for 20, over 20 years this beard was never completely shaven off, the soul patch here. That's the 90s baby, they're having a comeback right now, just saying. Patty wants to know, any regrets on being a YouTuber? Um, no, why? pretty cool um, at the moment um, I'm just trucking along you know we're doing okay channel keeps on growing um, people are happy dog is happy happy life you're working for yourself and that's the main thing you have to invest a lot of time it's not like a walk in the park and you just walk an hour a day and you'll be happy you have to work a lot but it's for a good cause you have a message you can deliver you reach a lot of people and it's awesome, so no day uh, so far since I decided to go full time with the YouTube, but I actually regretted it. Simon Garrett wants to know what's your favorite aspect of the Minecraft server? Um, where is he? Here. What's your favorite aspect of the Minecraft server? Well, um, the community is strong. We got a nice group, you know, and we got each other's back. And out on the YouTubes, it's a lot of competition and it's nice to have a freaking army, you know, of fans and also uh, great channels, you know, that do the right thing on YouTube and that have your back. So it's a great community to be part of. It's amazing. It opens up doors, you know, it's just great. And there's so many great aspects about the Minecraft that I can't really point one out. How did you get the name Doc M? Kevin Mass wants to know and I answered that before but I might answer it again. Um, basically it is because of my basketball days. There was Dr. J. I was a very good dunker. I can still pull it off but nothing compared to what I could do when I was young. And yeah, then um, the black guys in the army barracks gave me that name. I was basically the only white guy who was allowed to play with them because they respected my basketball and my dunking skills. And so they gave me that name, Doctor, because I was always able to kind of, you know, maneuver my way through the defense and have these elegant dunks, uh, kind of like Dr. J and Doc M, that is my last name. The M is the first letter of my last name. And 77 is the name of, uh, is the year of my birth and was also always my jersey number. So that is where Doc M 77 actually came from. And I have this nickname for a long, long time now. Um, 20 years. <laughs> Siamo123 wants to know what is your favorite series that you have done and what's the longest running series on your channel? Well, um, one answer to these two questions, World Tour. That is my heart and soul, I love it so much. It is the core of my channel, I will never drop that. That is what makes my channel, you know. I will play, that's my World Tour. I need it. The world to her. Oh, 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 oh. Bunny loyalist. She wants to know. I think it's she. Hopefully it's she. What do you think about crazy, crazy fangirls who really love you? <laughs> Yay! I got crazy fangirls. We reached the final stage of fame. No, <laughs> seriously. Uh, I don't. I don't mind. I think it's cool to have fans in general. You know, at the Minecon it was really amazing how much appreciation we got and how people were like were treating us nicely and us awesome. it's just great so in general <laughs> I got nothing against fangirls well, what does crazy mean in that um, 
you know, whatever. No, I got nothing against crazy fangirls who love me. Oh, King Happy. Hey, King. What's up? He wants to know if you could remove or add one thing to Minecraft, what would it be and... Like an actor or band member and is there a funny story involved? Yeah, actually... <laughs> Yeah, the, how do you call middle? I don't even know, but it's a nice place in France where people go and chill. Rich people. And they lived um, outside this super expensive stuff and had their house there for many, many years. And this girl was going there over years and he, she knew everybody. So the good thing was all her friends from the childhood now worked as bouncers or whatever at all the most expensive clubs and stuff. And everywhere she knew them. So, we went to Val Rouge, this is the most famous beach in Saint-Tropez and we rode up with our uh, we, uh, Volkswagen Cabrio, um, a Beetle Cabrio, like old, like from the 70s or something, totally crappy, we were right in there, like door opens, like that they let us in was a wonder, but yeah, she knew everybody, so hey, salut, ça va? On y va, on y va, salut, okay, well, let's go in there, <clears throat> we drive up the parking lot and I swear to God, like the tire hub of one of these cars could pay for our Beetle or something. Easy! <laughs> Everything we had in the Beetle maybe. Like there was Porsche 911s, GT3, that was the cheapest thing you saw. Crazy! Rolls Royce, Maseratis, like Bugattis. It was insane and I, I go like, wow, man, here's seriously rich people around here, eh? She goes like, ah, oh, no, those are the more poor folk. The serious rich people are there. And I look out on the ocean and you see like a crap load of ships and yachts there waiting. <clears throat> I was like, wow, this is sick. So we walk in there, they guide us to the front row and we have a perfect spot right in the front. Sit there, like two spots next to me, there was Jack Nicholson and a lot of famous people, I, you know, I don't know too many, but a lot of rich people from Arabia as well, you could see them having a lot of cell phones, like two or three stuck to their bikini made out of gold or something. Some of them were even wearing two watches. I don't know, it was, maybe it was a trend or they were just so rich they didn't know what to do with their money. So why not wear two $100,000 watches? It was pretty sick. And those guys were dealing out like champagne, like crazy, these Magnum bottles, you know, the, the big ones. Like, and it costed, I don't know, a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks each bottle. And you're kind of expected to give something when you're there and we just, we didn't give a crap. We were like, oh yeah, champagne, let's hit it. And we were having a good time. So later in the evening, we were going there at three in the afternoon and everybody was drinking constantly. And I was thinking, how the hell can those people be not drunk and did they drink all day long? They all must be alcoholics or what? So we walk up, there's a little bar and lounge area you could go upstairs. So we walk up there and my friend there says, look, there's Sylvester Stallone. I look over and see, seriously, that's him. Must be him. There's a dwarf. So I walk over and I actually wanted to say hi because uh, Sylvester Stallone, I really like, you know, because who doesn't like Rambo and Rocky? Adrian! You know, it was freaking amazing. So I want to walk up to him. In this moment, Sylvester Stallone turns around. I look at him and I seriously, he was a small guy. He was like on my nipple height. He turns around and does this short little puke and seriously pukes on my shoe. 
doesn't say a word, turns around and keeps on drinking. I don't know, maybe, you know, he, he joked on some caviar or whatever, they were drinking Eden, and he seriously puked. I was like, hey, Sylvester Stallone just puked on my... I was like, totally, what the hell? She's like, oh, don't make any drama. And I was like, no, no, I'm, I was like, I was just shocked. Seriously, Sylvester Stallone puked on my foot. And then I was like, hmm. Later on, when we left, you know, it didn't make no big drama. But then I thought to myself, man, I should have knocked out freaking Rambo. Rocky, man. That would have been the best thing ever. I might have regretted it for the rest of my life because he would probably have sued me. Um, but wouldn't it be cool to work if you could actually say, hey, what, Rocky? I knocked that sucker out. All right, guys, so that's it for the Q&A today. Sadly, you know, um, the vlog part was pretty lengthy, so I don't want to do too many questions today. We're going to do more and I enjoy answer them. Keep on asking. It's amazing that you support me so well with these videos. And yeah, I'd say we should jump um, into the channel spotlights. All right, guys, and here we go with the channel spotlights. As usual, I pick one, you pick one. My pick this time, quite frankly, Frank. Female member of the community, very talented artist. Just saying, check out her artwork. For example, she did my channel um, fair or my channel banner of art. You know, the creeper with the cat, and it's really cool. But um, aside of the art, uh, she's also a talented Minecraft player and builder. For example, here lately, um, she started working on uh, Edward Scissorhand expi inspired uh, creative build. Really cool. And other than that, um, let's get back to her channel. She also does um, cool tutorials, cool build tutorials about basic shapes. That is also really helpful and uh, those tutorials are also successful. Um, she has a, an analytical approach to it and explains it really well how you should do it. She also played some Quakecraft with us lately. She's also involved with some projects of the Sipcrowd server. She does vlogs. Um, very nice person overall. A cool new member to the Minecraft community and it would be cool if you guys could give her even more of a warm welcome. Already sitting at 1874 subscribers and counting. And hopefully we see more, especially check out her latest build, the creative build, Edward Scissorhands. Uh, I like it a lot. She showed me some um, progress um, of it. And also she made a special texture pack for it to give it a certain look and so on. So really, really cool. Check her out. And now we're gonna move on to your suggestion. As usual, in case you wonder how you're gonna get suggested and what, um, just down in the comments of this video, suggest channels and then um, from episode to episode I will just go back check what is one of the favorite channels that are voted for by the community you can suggest your friends theoretically you can also suggest yourself I mean I've personally got nothing against that um, it depends how much support you get from it um, from the community or with it from the community and yeah so let's check out what you guys suggested all right guys and here we go this is the channel we want to feature today. G G Lemon. Not salty, sweet. I don't know. Very bad catcher. I don't know. Sour. Not sour, but sweet redstone. <laughs> well, try it, buddy. Come on. You gotta give me that. Well, in any case, um, he's a guy who specialized on redstone stuff. Always good to have these quirky redstone channels around, you know? If you look at it, um, mom, 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 mom. there's quite some stuff. Mom, 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 mom. Lots of tutorials, doors and things. Um, and three by he has a really nice three by three door uh, or expandable double extender. Also really nice. And just a day ago, I mean we can check out this video. He released a secret door. Okay, I need to turn down the sound probably. Ah, what's that? What's that? Oh, there's a waterfall. There's a boat. The smallest splitter. There you go. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, you have to go to the channel yourself and check it out. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, 
small guy, 921 subscribers. Let's see if you can push him a little bit. I'm pretty sure you will find a useful contraption here, especially the doors. I'm always looking for nice doors and the design he made is really good. So yeah, also nice spawn building here. I checked that out. That looks good as well. So good channel. He's started out. He's not around too long, but I think we should support him and give him some love and yeah maybe he gets some inspiration you know from our from our support chest now and we'll release more redstone tutorials and maybe try out some other things but doors <laughs> so yeah keep him coming buddy show some love guys and that's it for this week's dear dog uh, channel spotlight for tt lemon keep on suggesting the channels i hope you liked it i'm trying to put some effort in the show you know, try to let you in a bit on my life and do some vlogging here and there. I don't want it to become too intrusive, you know, and constantly run around with the, you know, with the uh, video cam and get the YouTube disease, the YouTuber disease and vlog, vlog freaking everything. But whenever I do something, I'm willing to share. Hope you enjoy. See you next time. I'm out. Bye. Check out TT Lemon. It's an order. And quite frankly, Frank.